Hello all, this is Universal Group of Institutions, Bangalore and Kushi Shetty here with the latest news. So today, let's have a small look at one of the editorials that could help us. So we will be focusing on GS Paper 1, a speech that put India on the global stage. Post-independence consolidation as well as reorganization within the country. Nehru's 1954 speech in the Lok Sabha propelled India on the global stage of nuclear disarmament, advocating for a standstill agreement when it came to testing. About the speech by Jawaharlal Nehru, it was done in April 1954. So right now it's the April month, maybe it's the best time to talk about it, right? So Jawaharlal Nehru addresses Lok Sabha in response to the S. Castle Bravo nuclear test, urges for a standstill agreement on nuclear testing, despite India's lack of military as well as economic might. About the few principles of the speech, marked by vision self-assurance, Nehru asserts India's global standing, cemented India's claim to global readership when it came to the summit, led to partial test ban treaty, PTBT, limiting horizontal nuclear proliferation. Understanding the standstill agreement, what are the signatories? It was signed between the newly independent dominions of India and Pakistan and the princely states of British Indian Empire. Bilateral nature, the agreement was bilateral between a dominion that could be India or Pakistan and a princely state. What was the purpose? It intended to ensure the continuity of administrative arrangements that existed between the British crown as well as the princely state. It aimed to maintain stability as well as prevent disruptions during the transition period to new dominions. Stipulated that all existing administrative arrangements between the British Crown and the princely state would continue unaltered between the signatory dominion as well as the princely state. Transition period. Agreement remained in force until new arrangements were made between the dominion as well as the princely state. So about the United Nations Disarmament Commissions, it was set up in the year 1952. They keep meeting free, or I would say infrequently rather than frequently. Second iteration was established in 1978 as a subsidiary to the UN General Assembly. Why was it made? What was the purpose? It provides recommendations focusing on the disarmament efforts. So I mentioned this word called as PTBT, that is the Partial Test Ban Treaty. This was signed on August 5th, 1963 and became effective from August, uh, sorry, October 10th, 1963, aimed at reducing global radioactive fallout as well as the associated environmental, the health risks that came along with it. What were the main provisions? Bans atmospheric, outer space, underwater nuclear test, impact, uh, impact on the nuclear disarmament, contributed to de-escalating the Cold War arms race, Environmental health effects were also there, of course, underwater test, atmospheric test, long-term health risk. Relevance and legacy, so precursor to the treaty on the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons, remains relevant for parties not bound by the comprehensive test ban treaty. So Nehru's speech 70 years ago propelled India onto the global stage as a leader in nuclear disarmament, despite our lack of uh, it could be our economic might. We didn't have that economic might in us, neither the military might in us, but still the speech that was made 70 years ago has made a huge difference in our lives today. Well, that's all for now. Thank you. Stay tuned for more news. We have a detailed description present on our website. Kindly click on the link that's present down below. Thank you.